Hey guys, Yuri back with you. Okay, so it's still blazing hot. I'm actually shooting a bunch of these videos on the same day. It's like 50 degrees Celsius, okay? That's like 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's crazy out here. So uh, again, we're talking about interval training today. Specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about interval training for runners. And uh, just as a word of caution, uh, today is the type of day where you probably wouldn't want to spend a lot of time outdoors doing interval training. Uh, massive dehydration, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, all that kind of stuff. You're unless, again, unless you're competing in this kind of heat, okay? So, let's say you're a runner and you're training for a 5K race in the, like, the middle of the summer. So your 5K race is right in the middle of the summer. And here's something from my own experience. Uh, that I want to relate to you. So I was training for a 5K race all winter long on the treadmill, okay? And it was, this was actually one of the first 5K races of the springtime in Toronto. Uh, so it was literally like there was ice on the ground as we're running. But anyways, I didn't do any running outdoors. Just all my running, all my interval training was done on the treadmill for several months. I got to the race, ran the race. I felt like I had never run before. Um, and that just goes to show you the difference in specificity, right? So if you're training for a race, if you know you have a race, for instance, August 1st, it's gonna be hot if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you may obviously benefit from training in a hotter climate, okay? So the last thing you wanna do is spend all your time training in one environment and then competing in another because there's very little transfer. So if you're running on the treadmill, that's great. But if you're a runner and you're gonna be, if you're gonna be competing in outdoor races, you need to complement that with outdoor running as well. Now, obviously when it's 50 degrees outside, not the best time to go, uh, but I just wanted to mention that to you. Okay, so we're talking about interval training. We're talking about specifically for runners today. Now, if you're a runner, um, I'm not particular, particularly a runner. I, I wouldn't call myself that. I call myself a, more of an athlete. I played soccer professionally. I work with runners. I work with all athletes of all levels. Um, and one of the things that we use all the time, I, I, it doesn't really matter what their goals are, is interval training. So why do we use interval training? Well, I wanna give you an example, okay? I'm, I'm gonna take, again, this 5K race as an example and an embarrassing story during this race. So I'm running the race, I felt like crap, my legs felt like they'd never run before, and about four kilometers into the race, I'm, I'm just like literally, it felt like I, was, I wasn't going anywhere, I was against the wind, and then all of a sudden, this like 70-year-old man just comes flying by me. It was like, it was like a bullet. And uh, I, that was, I mean, it was really, <laughs> That was a big wake-up call. So, where was I going with that? Um, yes, interval training. So, had I prepared myself properly, right, and maybe this individual had, you know, maybe I'm assuming he's a runner, he's older, you know, maybe he's a runner for a long time, this is where the power of an interval training kicks in. So, interval training, once again, is bouts of high intensity and low intensity. So, it could be sprint, jog, sprint, jog, you know, coordinated in whatever fashion you want. So there's a lot of different ways. For instance, with a 5K, you may want to do 400 meters at your uh, 3K pace, so it'd be actually faster than what you would run your 5K at, okay? And then you could work that in with a pace that is slightly slower than your 5K pace, maybe an 8K or a 10K pace. Okay, so you'd work that back and forth for maybe 20 minutes, which would be uh, a very, you know, a good, um, I'd say an intermediate to advanced time for a 5K run, right? 20 minutes is pretty quick. So uh, here's the benefits. So when you train your body to actually accelerate and slow down and accelerate and slow down, it's a very, it's actually, it's a very inefficient way of training sometimes because what's happening is that you're not getting into that steady state. So you're con it's almost like driving a car, right? City driving consumes more fuel than if you're on the highway. It's the same thing when you're running doing interval training. It's a stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. It's not something you necessarily want to do during a race but in terms of training and training your body is very effective because let's say the 70 year old man passes me and I've now conditioned my body to the point where I know that I can catch up to him because I've been doing sprints with my interval training now I have that I have that tool I have that tool in my toolbox right so if I was properly conditioned I could have you know blasted a hundred meters ahead of me and I would, I would have been trained and conditioned to do that 100 meters and then maintain a slightly slower but fast running pace to finish off my race. So again, if you're competitive like I am, like personally, if I see somebody in front of me, I have to catch them. It's just like, I don't know if this is type A thing. So if you're like me, 
and you know you can't sit behind somebody you know you don't want to like slipstream them and you want to pass them in your race obviously you want to run faster than somebody in front of you then interval training is very important because it allows you to accelerate and it trains your body to work at those higher speeds so it doesn't matter if you're 5k 10k marathon anywhere in between interval training is the way to go and that's why for runners i'm really i really encourage runners you know if you're watching this and you're a runner please tone down the volume of your training don't be doing the six days a week running stuff it's going to kill you try to minimize the mileage right and focus on higher intensity better quality runs okay i'm a big advocate of two to four workouts a week max like a four would be the absolute like ceiling of of workouts and obviously that'd be a combination of longer duration slow intensity and higher intensity interval training runs right it's again depends on your goals but i just want to give you an example because when you're spending a lot of time running running is a very wear and tear sport you're pounding on the pavement or the gravel or the track or whatever it is you're gonna wear your body down. And uh, I see it time and time again. I, I, I spoke, spoke to Nike, uh, one of their head offices in Toronto, about this topic, and there was about 35 runners in the room. I asked them, how many of you guys have had or do have a running-related injury? Every single one of them raised their hands, okay? So running is a very, very, very taxing sport, and if you're a runner, you probably know that already. So really tone down the mileage, focus on adding maybe one or two high intensity interval training runs into your schedule and again if you need help with this stuff if you're in 5k 10k whatever it might be we have a lot of great resources and a lot of good training information over at our site at mytreadmilltrainer.com uh, if you go over there you can see all sorts of stuff related to 5k 10k half marathon full marathon training uh, also at our blog we have lots of sample training programs that you can use you know if you're on a track for instance if you're running a 5k what would be a good track workout to do uh, specific for your needs right so this is just an example of some of the stuff we have over at mytreadmilltrainer.com uh, so once again thanks for watching if you have any questions by all means just you know post your stuff below I do my best to read the comments and the questions and, and, and do my best to uh, put together videos that you guys are looking for and this whole series of interval training is uh, is kind of just along those lines so thanks again for watching I'm Uriel Kame and I'll see you in the next video